Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and it seems like the Apple ecosystem is getting rounder and rounder, and it's leaving many of us hoping that it's gonna to translate to the Mac at some point. If you take a look at the Mac UI, you can see that things like the dock and the windows are all starting to translate to that rounder design, but the one thing that seems to stay square is the screen. And now while we've seen the iPhone and the iPad transition to this rounded display, it makes it seem hopeful that in the future, we'll have rounded displays on Mac. But in the meantime, we've got a solve that fixes just that. And it's through an app called Display Aperture. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, this is gonna work for any Mac that can download apps from the App Store. So whether you're on an iMac, a Mac Mini, or a MacBook, this can definitely work for you, and it just takes a couple of simple steps. So first off, we're gonna open the App Store. You're gonna search for the app Display Aperture. You're gonna download the app. And then once you open the app, you'll see that you have the option to select which corners that you wanna round, as well as setting the radius just by dragging the bar. And this can go very, very round. In fact, a lot more round than you would expect it to or ever really want it to. Next, you have the option to set whether you want this to work on your main display or if you also want it to work across your external displays. Now, I typically use this on all of my displays, and in fact, going back to the original way without this app seems a little bit old school and seems quite dated to me. But there are a couple of things to keep in mind when you are using this app. So in order for it to keep running, you're going to need to leave it on in the background. It doesn't stay in your dock, but it does continue to run in the background. If you force quit the app, then your screen is gonna go back to normal and you'll have to open the app again to start up the service. Another thing is that it doesn't actually turn off the pixels in the corner, it just mimics an overlay that rounds the corners for you. So if you drag an app over to the corner, you can see that it does still adhere to that rounded design. However, if you move your mouse, it appears over top of the overlay. So you'll still see your mouse going into those black pixels. Now, like I said, this translates across the whole Mac lineup. So whether you're using an iMac, a Mac mini, or a MacBook Pro, this is going to work for it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this one of those things where you can't really unsee it or you can't go back to the way that it was before, much like me? Let me know that down in the comments. As well, as always, remember to hit that like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next one.